Our domestic property here. Trying to find a heating leak. Oh, that's the fridge. Apparently the boiler's losing one bar pressure in a few hours. Nobody knows where the leak is. And it looks like the pipe work in this property goes where it wants. I mean, where is that even going? So let's get it. Well, the first thing you're going to do is top the boiler up. This is below the working pressure. Try and get some heat into the radiators. Carry out a thermal trace with a thermal camera. Speed things up a bit. There we go, 1.1. 1.2. It's got up to about 1.4 bar. So now we're going around with a thermal camera. You can see a drop down here from upstairs. Behind that wall there. And if we go up towards the front of the house, there's four radiators up here. But it's all suspended flooring, so we're not going to really see anything, as you can see. So let's go back down this way. Couldn't see anything obvious. The problem with the thermals is the pipe work goes behind a lot of stuff, and you just can't see anything. I, mean, I don't even know where that pipe's going. There's no radiators up there. So now we're going to drain all the water out, get our gases in there, try and locate this leak. We just go outside, see what this water's looking like. Apparently the customer's been topping this up every few hours for the far past few weeks. So I bet the water's clear. There we go, it's just like fresh water. Wouldn't want to drink it though. So now we've got the pressure test on. Had a little hunt around. Because it's such a large leak, I would have thought it'd be in this suspended area around here. Just clear all this away. There we go. I wish it was that easy in real life. Just remove the carpet. The leak. You can hear that hissing. It's either a snake down there, or it's the leak we're looking for. So we get our floorboard up and have a little look. There we go. If we get my big head in there. And there we go. You can see that water running down the wall. Thank God it wasn't a snake. We're not in Australia. Well, it's very tight down here. Anyway, we need to remove another floorboard. Because my hips don't lie, and I'm not getting through that. So I need to cut a bit down here on the joint. There we go. So now I can remove that, which is going to give me access to get under there. It's the fun part. Right, let's get to the other side of it. There we go. So if you lift it up, you can see that it's you can see that it's leaking exactly where it's been resting on that brickwork. So if we pull back the lagging, I'll get a better visual. As you can see, both pipes don't look in good condition. One of them's leaking. But I think it's best to change both, don't you? There we go, it's coming out of the bottom one. I mean, whoever fitted this has just bent it round the wall and left it resting on the brickwork. This is always going to leak. It's just a matter of time. So we cut the leak out. There you go, you can clearly see where it's been resting on the brick. The other one was just ready to go as well. That's unbelievable, Jeff. Right, so now I've replaced the pipe work and properly lagged it. Made sure there's more lagging on this point as well, so it doesn't happen again. There we go, so we carried out a pressure test. But first things first, let's get out of here. It wasn't easy, I'll tell you that. I had to bend my body in some weird positions to get out. There we go. So while the pressure test was on, the customer supplied lunch. Lovely stuff. If I can get the chip. Nom, 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 nom. Right, so everything held pressure, so there's no more leaks. So now I can relieve the pressure. Get inhibitor in and water back into the system. Oh, better not forget this. Put all that back. Just like I was never there. Check all the radiators are getting warm, which they are. If we go that back, blah, blah, blah. If we go back down to the boiler. Oh, put this sofa back. Don't want to forget that. So we go down to the boiler, make sure it's properly working. It's up to temperature, which it is, which is good. And that's another happy customer and a happy group. Jobs are good in. If you have a leak, let's get it.